start from here. So I'll give you the safety tour of the boat. Uh, so there is like vest, there is more than you need. There's some that are over here and some boat equipment and floating rope. This is gonna be gone, so if you're watching this video, uh, this might not exactly look the same, but there will be life vests in this area, and there's also life vests uh, on the top of the roof, just under the steering wheel compartment for them. And outside, one thing to mention is for the ladder, please use both of your hands when you go up, and go face forward, and don't go down the ladder this way. There's a couple of doors, one here, one here, one there, and there's two more at the front. Uh, make sure that the chain stays on. And also, we prefer that you only use the padding here in the back, but then you don't adventure at the front of the boat because you wouldn't be covered under Airbnb like with the insurance policies because on the sides it is dangerous and there is some boating equipment and the, the railing is, I mean, it's, it's solid, but it can be a bit tough. All right, let's go inside. So, still with the safety equipment, we have one fire extinguisher in the corner. That's the bigger one, the biggest one you have on board. And there's another fire extinguisher that's just hidden uh, behind the curtain on the left side of the stairs. Okay. And also, um, that, the theme of fire, and there is a, a fume detector over here. There is a CO2 smoke detector over here and you have three more CO2 detectors that are everywhere on the boat. And um, that's pretty much for safety equipment. So yeah, this one. That's another requirement from Transport Canada. You have a bailing bucket, you have a flowing rope, a whistle, and a flashlight. And you also have an emergency light over here. You just this down and the light uh, will be on, USB charger, you can manually recharge this or it's solar. And there is a first aid kit in the bathroom on the right side of the sink, you'll see that there. Now let's talk about comfort things. So for the lights, you, if you touch the, the button here, they'll, they're all the same everywhere and they'll turn on. If you push it again one more time when you, you leave your finger on it, you can all adjust the, the lighting and dim or get it brighter. Uh, you have a thermostat over here. You can hear the click. The off-on button doesn't do anything. I uh, would just reuse the old thermostats over here with a new system. So all they do is to control the temperature. You can hear the click. This is probably usually a good setting that's around 20 degrees Celsius. Maybe 72 Fahrenheit. And there's one more over here. Same deal. Off-on switch doesn't do anything. It's just the wheel. And you might want to put about here. And this one will control the forward area of the boat. That's more the living room and the kitchen. You have a power outlet over here, power outlet in the corner. And please don't take any of the chargers. We need them for recharging things like your Bluetooth speaker and make sure the Wi Fi works for the next people. Uh, talking about Bluetooth speaker. Oh, it's in the dinghy. I was using it earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there is a Bluetooth speaker that I'll leave out for you and you just go on the Bluetooth list. I think it's JBL, right? Yes, JBL6. When you're done, just leave it here. Uh, in the kitchen, I think it's pretty Oh yeah, I will show you how to use the oven. Especially, I think it looks like you're going to be cooking a pizza. Yeah. Cool. So this is like a regular, almost like a regular gas stove. You, only, you can look at the, the symbols here will show you which button does what. One thing that I'm seeing right now that's very wrong that we want to avoid is the gas is actually on max in front of the stove. So thankfully, oh, no. <laughs> thankfully we have a bunch of fumes detector and there's one more thing is that you need to be pushing it for the gas to come out or for it to be hot. So it's not hot, nobody's pushing, so it's working, that's an extra safety. So what we need to do, this is your best one, this is a, a bit bigger stove over here. So this is your more most left button. You just push it in and then you line the arrow with the flame and then it's important if you're not familiar with those barbecue lighters just they all have a, a safety a child protection so this one you push here and then press at the same time i like to say that you get the flame ready first and then you give the gas otherwise it's just gas coming out and then there's more chance of a bigger flame that can be a bit scary and then if you just do this it will it won't stay on 
So you have to light it, keep it pushed, and you have to wait about five seconds or so until the stove is hot, and then it will keep releasing the gas. Once it's on, then you can push it all the way down if you want, you can adjust a lower height. All the four stoves are the same. For the, the oven, so this handle lifts here, that's how you open, and then careful, it like just falls under. And it's very similar. Uh, the, these two right buttons are a little bit faded, and the instructions are inside of the door, but they're also a bit faded. So it's the same thing, except for, in, instead of five seconds, it's 20 seconds. Again, that's an extra safety, so the gas doesn't just keep coming out of the oven. Uh, for the top element, you push it, bring it towards high, light it, but you you may have to do this more than once and you have to actually count 20 seconds for that one to stay on. Uh, so this one, and then this is just like the stove except it's also about 20 seconds and you may have to do this more than once because we don't use the other that much like once a week and then we don't do pizza. It's always pizza. Uh, and other things to note, you can check the temperature. This oven will be probably more hot than what you're used to or with an electric oven. There is two settings for the door. There's a little slot here that you just clip on the side. And um, when you use the top burner, and actually I think it's just better for this oven anyway to keep it a bit open. It just cooks better that way. And um, the fridge, uh, one thing to note for the fridge, if you're leaning on it and you're talking, you could inadvertently push this button. Then the fridge would, would switch, instead of working with propane, it would switch in electric mode, which would result in draining the batter bank of the boat, which is not a big deal, but my, um, so the, the house outlets that you're seeing, those are not really the, be the most efficient Elect electricity system for a boat, we just do this so you can plug your phones and what you're used to, but this will shut off first, so all the safety equipment like the bilge pumps will keep working. But, so this should show gas, and I like to put it on number five, that way the fridge will be a bit colder. You have ice over here that's ready. If you want coffee, uh, sugar, tea, coffee whitener, extra glass glassware you and salt and pepper some cooking oil it's all in this section for coffee uh we just boil water actually there should be a kettle right here and uh, have you used a french press before no you drink coffee no, no. no. okay so you can go on google <laughs> and you can find out how to use a french <laughs> press <laughs> for the coffee something to do with the wi-fi okay Technically, there's like two buttons on the toilet. This one here is a handle. If it's locked, you just rotate it and then it will come out. And that's the pump. That's what will activate the flush. So right now we can see there's water going in, but it's also going out of the toilet. So this is the other button. So you either have a wet flush or a dry flush. So the wet flush will be water in and also out. And the other mode will just stop bringing more water in and it will just empty. The toilet is salt water, so it takes whatever water is outside. So if it's not completely clear, it's just the situation, the water outside. And then it goes into a holding tank, which is quite far uh, forward in the boat. So imagine like going further in the pipe. Mm -hmm. So it's about 20 times the a normal flush that's recommended. So the other mode will just empty like that. And then you can twist the handle. And very important, only put this type of toilet paper in the toilet. There's a bunch more on the shelf underneath, nothing else. If you want, there's a, a, a power outlet just behind the furniture. Okay. Um, so a couple things to note here, same thing, just be careful, the railings are quite low, you don't want to go overboard. We'll open the propane tank all the way, there's an arrow on the valve, you open it until you can't anymore. Put, take the lid, put it aside, and just to show you this part, you're actually going to be doing it from underneath here. This button controls the flow of gas. So you want the arrow, uh, now it's on off. To turn this, you need to push it, just like the stove inside, bring it towards high. 
you can smell propane and you can hear it as well and same thing if i light it now and i was talking and it's high there's more uh, propane it will do a mini explosion it will so i'm gonna wait a little bit so the wind can get the gas away from the fireplace and you can keep this one pushed in the uh, actually not quite once it's lit it's lit so one very important thing is make sure your face and your hair if you have hair sprayed it you're 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 far away and i do like all you need is a spark ready you don't actually need the flame but you just need this ready to light around this circle here where the gas comes out so now i'm going to do it from here and push and get my face away put it towards high and i light it and you don't have to keep it pushed when you initially light it it's on high so then you can adjust it by lowering this button and you can adjust it that way when you are done, the reverse, you have to push the button, you won't turn to off. You push it, then you turn to off. And very important, close that all the way and put the lid. Any questions?